Hi, my name is Nico and I'm presenting the paper Hierarchical Reinforcement Learning with Dan Subgoals, which is joint work with Dieter Büchler and Georg Martius. Credit assignment in sparse reward long horizon tasks still poses a challenge for reinforcement learning algorithms. One way of tackling this challenge is to break the problem down into training a high level policy to choose suitable sub goals and a low level policy to pursue them. In recent years, such sub goal based hierarchical reinforcement learning methods have achieved unprecedented sample efficiency in static environments, such as mazes, for example. But what about dynamic environments? That is, environments with dynamic elements which are most of the time not under the control of the agent. For example, a ball flying through the air in a game of basketball or a conveyor belt passing a robot in a factory. As it turns out, existing subgoal based methods struggle in this setting. Let's consider this example environment to illustrate a problem that arises when using subgoals in dynamic environments. In order to progress in this task, the agent has to steer a marble into a continuously moving elevator. Let's assume that at some point during the training, the high level policy has learned to pick a subgoal that causes the low level policy to enter the elevator. When training continues, however, the low level policy usually gets faster at achieving the sub goal and as a consequence misses the elevator. So after an update to the low level policy, the dynamic part of the environment, in this case, the elevator, will be in a different state upon achievement of the sub goal. From the perspective of the higher level, choosing one and the same sub-goal consequently has different effects at different stages of the training. The high level policy therefore effectively interacts with a non-stationary environment, where the non-stationarity is induced by updates to the low level policy. More precisely, since the amount of time that passes until a sub-goal is achieved varies, the higher level interacts with a non-stationary semi-Markov decision process. Clearly, in this situation, the high level can only start to learn a stable solution once the lower level reacts reliably to being assigned a sub goal, or in other words, once the low level policy has converged. As a consequence, the levels of the hierarchy cannot learn concurrently and sample efficiency suffers. Unfortunately, existing methods for dealing with the changing behavior of the low level policy do not address this kind of non-stationarity caused by dynamic elements in the environment. To enable true concurrent learning in dynamic environments, we propose to let the higher level choose not only what subgoal to achieve, but also when. We term this combination of a subgoal and a time interval that is supposed to elapse before it is achieved a timed subgoal. We implement this idea in our algorithm hierarchical reinforcement learning with timed subgoals, or HITS for short. We consider a two level hierarchy that communicates in terms of timed subgoals. For sample efficiency, we use the off-policy algorithm soft active critic on both levels. To enable learning on the high level while the low level is not yet able to reach time subgoals reliably, we use hindsight action relabeling. That is, we in hindsight replace the high level action with the time subgoal that was actually achieved. We additionally use hindsight experience replay on both levels for sample efficiency. Finally, Testing transitions penalize the higher level for choosing a time sub goal that the low level could not achieve. This ensures that the higher level learns to emit only feasible time sub goals. Let's revisit the example environment using a HITS hierarchy. Assume once again that the agent has learned to enter the elevator, this time by choosing a suitable time sub goal. Unlike with conventional sub goals, changes to the low level policy will not affect this solution anymore. Even if the lower level changes its behavior, the environment is guaranteed to be in the same state upon achievement of the time sub goal, as it determines not only what to achieve, but also when. In the paper, we proved that, under some assumptions about the environment, using time sub goals in conjunction with hindsight action relabeling results in transitions that correspond to a completely stationary semi Markov decision process. While HITS deviates slightly from this idealized setting, for example by using testing transitions, its design nevertheless enables truly concurrent learning on all levels of the hierarchy, which translates to stable and sample efficient learning in static and dynamic environments. Consequently, HITS is competitive on standard benchmark tasks, which are mostly set in static environments. The learning curves for HITS are shown here in blue, while the dashed orange line corresponds to the hierarchical baseline hierarchical actor critic 
and the non-hierarchical baseline soft actor critic with hindsight experience replay corresponds to the dotted red line. In dynamic environments, on the other hand, HITS outperforms existing methods due to the use of time subgoals. Consider, for example, the side-scroller-like platforms environment. The agent controls a marble and pursues, depending on the algorithm, either a conventional subgoal or a timed subgoal. The platform on the right moves up and down perpetually, while the trigger on the floor sets another platform in motion. The objective for the agent is to reach the goal on the higher platform, which requires rolling onto the trigger at the right time. A hierarchical baseline, hierarchical actor critic can, in principle, learn to solve this task. Due to the non-stationarity issue of subgoals in dynamic environments, however, solutions and finds are usually brittle and stop working after updates to the low-level policy. In contrast to this, HITS can find sequences of timed subgoals that solve the task even if the behavior of the lower level changes. This results in stable concurrent learning on all levels. In the drawbridge environment, a sailing ship pursues subgoals or timed subgoals and has to pass a drawbridge that opens at a fixed point during the episode to get to the end of a stretch of a river. Note that the challenge in this environment is to not only reach the end of the river, but to do so in the shortest possible amount of time. Even though the optimal solution is obvious, the hierarchical actor critic baseline does not find it, but keeps bumping into the drawbridge while it is still closed. This is to be expected, since the lower level in the hierarchy is tasked with achieving a subgoal as fast as possible, and the hierarchy therefore cannot wait without using up a large number of subgoals. A HITS agent, on the other hand, has an intrinsic ability to wait due to its use of time subgoals. It therefore learns to time the unfurling of its sails correctly and passes the drawbridge just after it opened. In a tennis 2D environment, the agent controls a robot arm with a record as an end effector. Subgoals and the time remaining until the next time subgoal is to be achieved are shown in blue. The environment requires the agent to return a tennis ball to a varying target area on the ground. Conventional subgoals are ill-suited for controlling the robot arm. The hierarchical actor critic baseline therefore struggles with timing the movements of the robot arm correctly and instead resorts to wild swings that only occasionally hit the ball. In contrast to this, it learns to choose timed subgoals that ensure that the racket intercepts the ball trajectory with the right velocity and at the right time. Depending on the seed, the HITS agent learns a backhand or a forehand playing style. Also note how HITS uses more subgoals around the contact between ball and racket. By choosing suitable timed subgoals, the higher level of the hierarchy can directly adapt temporal abstraction to the task. For more details on our algorithm and experiments, please check out our paper Hierarchical Reinforcement Learning with Timed Subgoals, which is linked in the description.